Hello, Nomads Cult. This video is about bevel chamfer edges. This is the first video. A few videos about beveled edges are following. Okay, I record this video with version 177. I think you need a few options. The next release is soon. Okay. Nomads cult here to create such bevels like this. I start with a blank scene and I add a sphere as a demo object. So I reset the view perspective off and I validate the object. I need more topology. I subdivide the sphere a few times. 1.5 million is okay. So, okay. There are a few options to create the shapes you need. You can use here the mask, for example, and sharpen the areas and extract this masked areas, or you can create um, a split, then you get real sharp edges. So I use here the split function and I create a shape. Okay, and I split this. So I use the solo view. Sorry, I checked hole filling was off. This is important. Um, so this is my shape. And yeah, let's work only with one. I forgot to deselect um, front vertex. Um, so let's trim this away. Okay, this is our shape. So the first step is we need the mask and mask this whole object. Press on the screen, then your object is masked. So, and the next thing is you have to extract your mask. Here you can change the shell thickness and the important, the very important thing is the edge loop. Here um, the second option, edge loop side, here the slider zero, it have to be zero. Smoothness, you can try it with the smoothness Let's extract the shell. So let's look at it. So let's go a step back and deselect the smoothness. So here we got sharp edges. Our mask we can hide. So this is the extracted mesh. So I go a step back, oh sorry, and make it a little bit bigger. This is what we get. And the next step is to press on the screen and mask the object again. And now change the the shell thickness make it the value decrease it i think is the word and extract the shell so there's your chamfer and let's use a, a little bit 
uh, other shell thickness like this. Okay, so I tested a lot how to change the poly count. So when you use your voxel remesh, use a very, very high value. So, and remesh it. Takes a few seconds. Okay, it's a real high value, I think. <laughs> Come on. So what's the poly count? Uh, okay, it's a little bit too high, I think. Yeah, okay, it doesn't matter. So, and I use here the round all brush and brush one time along the edges. So now let's see the wireframe and in the topology, the MISC menu, you can decimate your mesh and checkbox preserve borders, then press decimate. So we have to wait a few seconds, I think, again. Now it works faster. And here we see what we get. Now we have a poly count of 4,000 poly um, vertices, I think, and then it's a nice, let's see. Let's go a step back. Um, 8,000 vertices is okay, and then the shading looks okay, I think. So here's the wireframe. And yeah. So you can do this chamfer. Okay. That's, that's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.